you've ever watched a movie, you'll have probably been tricked into thinking that people are either good or bad. But things are never as simple as that, are they? I don't mean to do the wrong thing, make the wrong choices, always. I mean, I guess sometimes I know what I'm doing, but I just seem to end up there, doing the wrong thing again. Rahab lived in a town called Jericho. God's people were coming and they'd sent spies ahead to check out the land. There was talk about town. A whirlwind was coming. Well, at least that's what it seemed like. God's people were coming to take his land and nothing was stopping them. At this point, Rahab had a decision to make. Was she going to continue? like the rest of her country, in their old ways, or turn and follow God's plans. That's when the spies came knocking. You're never quite sure what's going to be lurking behind your door when you open it. For me that day, it was the Israelite spies. They needed help, and they offered salvation. I could be saved too. Oh, not just from the upcoming war, but from all the things I'd done wrong. In exchange for giving the spies refuge in her house, they arranged to meet Rahab again and free her from the city. God's spies would be safe and God's family would have a new member. Rahab. I was worried that the bad things I do would block me from being with God. That just wasn't the case. God's plan is so much bigger than the things we do. He can take the things we do and look past it and save us from it. And then he can use us amazingly. That's how I want to be used, amazingly. So it turns out that the movies do get some things right. Good does be bad in the end. But what Rahab hadn't counted on was, well, just how good God's good was. It consisted of a love even bigger than all the worst things she could ever, ever do. It consisted of a love so big that it could save her and save us all. <laughs>